Hey guys, uh, Brian with Thunder Laser. So I wanted to clarify a few things on this uh, scanning offset adjustment. Um, these values that come on the cards with the lasers are specific to those machines only. Uh, China does keep records of these numbers, however, by serial number, uh, so that they can pull them from the machine. However, uh, you're probably going to want to learn to do this one day anyway, and this is very educational as far as how your X-Swing works and all that stuff. Um, so I have something that I've been working on, and uh, if you lose your values or if you change a motor or if something mechanically changes or you adjust belt tension, things like that, uh, or just over time wear and tear, you know, if you want to do it every five years or something like that. Um, you can regenerate your values uh, for your mechanical backlash uh, for the reverse compensation settings. And uh, it's really easy to do. I've made this file. I'm going to include it at the bottom of the article. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a link to the article in the description. So here's what this thing does. Um, it's just going to make these rectangles. Uh, they're 50 millimeter by 10 millimeter, I think, and it's going to do them at these speeds. Now, what you'll notice is that our line interval is pretty wide. I've got it at 0.5 because we want to be able to see uh, those. They don't want the, we don't want them to be too close together so they blur. Another thing you'll notice is the faster speed you go, you'll notice more buffer. The head has to travel further, you know, past. Uh, the art before it can slow down and turn around and come back just because of inertia and things and you'll notice that get progressively wider you know that that buffer zone on each side as you get to a thousand millimeters per second and basically you run this and uh, these lines will actually be offset every other one will have an offset to them because maybe the belt stretches more in one direction than the other you see what I mean so there'll be an XY XY I mean you know the swing this is you know one direction the other direction one direction the other direction so they'll be offset uh, alternately and you need to measure that offset and we'll show you what I'm talking about it's really important when you run this test if you already have values entered into your machine to turn this off if you don't your compensation settings that are in there currently which are pretty close are going to be working against you because the machine will not display the actual backlash because you're compensating for it here. So you need to turn this off or else this test will not work. Um, and then, uh, let me update my overlay. Um, let's just run it and see what it looks like. I did in the cuts and layers, um, you do see the speeds change here and I up the power a little bit each time to make up for the increase in speed. Uh, you may have to play with these a little bit to get a good even contrast, uh, but ultimately you're going to want to look at these up close and personal and you're going to have to measure with you know calipers or something, some precision you know to measure uh, the interval. Uh, but I'll provide more information in this article. Uh, I hope that helps.